The parents of Bradford-born teenager Shafilia Ahmed are tonight both starting jail terms of at least 25 years after they were convicted of killing her nine years ago. The trial judge told them their concern about being apparently shamed in the community was greater than the love of their child. The case has highlighted the challenges faced by children whose families operate an honour system which clashes with the Western lifestyle. Mark Whitty has our top story this evening. Iftikhar Ahmed and his wife Fazana suffocated Shafilia with a plastic bag in 2003 in a so-called honour killing at the home where they lived in Warrington. Shafilia's sister Alicia told the jury at Chester Crown Court her parents pushed Shafilia onto the settee in their house and forced a plastic bag into the teenager's mouth, killing her in front of their other children. The 17-year-old's body was found in Cumbria in 2004. She'd been killed after allegedly bringing shame on her family because of her so-called westernised ways. Mrs Ahmed changed her evidence partway through the trial, trying to lay the blame solely on her husband, but the jury didn't believe her. After sentencing, there was reaction from Shafilia's friends and the police who investigated the case. Shafilia was a caring, high-spirited and brave young lady who, even in her toughest times, always strived to remain positive and hopeful that one day she too would be able to live the peaceful and happy life that she deserved. They tried to control her, to force her into marriage and to prevent her from expressing herself. When this failed, they murdered her a vile and disgraceful act against their own daughter, a murder, someone they should have been very proud of. The West Yorkshire-based charity Karma Nirvana deals with honour cases, taking hundreds of calls a month. The charity says the problem is real and ongoing. This case doesn't shock me. Shafilia Ahmed will not be the last murder victim of such a crime. We're going to see many more, sadly, Shafilia Ahmed trials here in the UK. Because nobody wants to be whisked off to Pakistan or India or significantly harmed or even killed. And families will say and threaten murdering you if you don't adhere to an honour system. Tonight, Shafilia's parents are paying for their crime with their liberty, the honour of a family worth more than their daughter's life. Mark Whitty with that report. Well, the case highlighted a frightening litany of violence against the teenager, but Shafilia's parents repeatedly denied any involvement until the weight of evidence finally caused their downfall. But the couple's past was marred with an intrigue. Rob Smith looks at how the disappearance of the Yorkshire-born teenager led police to investigate the parents who subjected her to a life of fear. The walls of the family home here in Warrington hid years of abuse. Those meant to love her the most treated her as little more than a commodity, one they didn't much care if they bruised. If Dakar and Fazana Ahmed wanted their daughter traditionally dressed and married to whomever they chose, her choices, her needs were irrelevant, an attitude they first practised on another young woman decades earlier. He want me to be more like a Pakistani woman as a very Pakistani close. Vivi Anderson was Iftikhar Ahmed's first wife. The couple married in 1982 and had a son. But the smiling westernized life was a lie. Iftikhar married Fazana in secret, then revealed his violent nature. He had a big temper, and I could imagine if he had been pressed up in a corner, that he have, could have done it to kill his own daughter. That daughter was pushed much further than the ex. Friends often saw Shafilia cut and bleeding. When they discovered plans for a forced wedding, they helped her run away. You don't ever think anything that tragic and that horrific really could ever happen to anybody, let alone somebody you cared about. But Iftikhar was having none of it, abducting Shafilia for a flight to Pakistan. Days later, she was on a dirt road to meet a groom she didn't want. At the family's ancestral home, the teenager panicked. She went into the bathroom and drank bleach. In hospital, her parents claimed it was an accident, a lie doctors spotted instantly. Those living here know that, but such is the Ahmed's reputation. Few talk publicly or without hiding. Family, they now. Families usually show they care when something happens to a loved one, but in Shafilia's case, they weren't really bothered. Because of their lack of Islamic knowledge, they destroyed her life. Shafilia was flown back to the UK, shunned yet undeterred. 
She dyed her hair and wore white stilettos. At home one night in September 2003, her parents' shame became lethal rage. The search never involved the Ahmeds. They didn't report her missing, didn't want her disappearance made public. Detectives grew suspicious. A bug captured the couple discussing how to blame Shafilia's disappearance on someone else so the police go and look for them and comforting each other by saying, without proof, they can't do anything. Even before the remains were ID'd, Iftikhar and Fazana started planning a funeral. They knew it was their daughter because they left her here, hoping she'd never be found. And with that discovery, their demeanour changed from an emotionless lack of interest to weeping in front of the cameras. Mr and Mrs Ahmed wish to confirm once more that they strenuously deny any direct or indirect involvement. Mr. Mr. Ahmed, did you murder you your daughter? For years, the Ahmeds proved untouchable. An unlawful killing verdict at Shafilia's inquest didn't curtail them. The evidence to link the couple to the body was missing. Shafilia eventually got justice through the courage of her sister, revealing the truth of a murder that happened before her eyes, a crime any loving parent can never comprehend. Rob Smith with that report.